Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Below the title bar at the top is the menu bar. You can control all the functions of Word by selecting the different drop-down menu commands listed on this bar. The commands are File, which gives us file management commands, Edit, used for document editing, View, which we use to turn on and off different on-screen objects, Insert, used to insert different page objects, Format, which is used to make things look pretty, Tools, various Word tools, Table, which is used for drawing tables, Window, and Help. Now clicking on any one of these commands displays a sub-menu of available commands which we can see, and commands that are grayed out are certainly not available. Commands that are followed by a right-pointing arrow display another side menu of choices from which you'll need to slide to the side and then make a selection. Commands followed by an ellipsis mark the little dot dot dot, invoke dialog boxes, and in the dialog boxes you'll then need to supply Word with some additional information or make an additional choice before it could actually execute the command. Notice that the minimize, maximize, and close button group for the document window is gone in the 2003 version and 2000 but still appeared in the upper right hand corner if using 97. Now in addition to navigating Word with your mouse by clicking around you can also use keyboard shortcuts. If you'd like to execute commands from the menu bar using keyboard shortcuts which can oftentimes increase your efficiency with Word because you're allowed to keep your hands on the keyboard at all times the keyboard shortcuts are listed in the menu bar to the right of the specific command to which they correspond. So for example, if you click on Edit from the menu bar, you can see the shortcut for the Find command, which is Control plus F. So in the future, instead of clicking on Edit and then clicking Find, you could simply hold down Control on your keyboard and strike the F key once. And notice lots of commands have keyboard shortcuts, and you certainly can memorize the ones that you use most often. But not every command has a corresponding keyboard shortcut, all commands do, however, have keystroke combinations that will allow your hands to remain down the keyboard. Now each command on the menu bar has an underlined letter. So for example, the F in file is underlined. If you hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and strike the underlined letter for the command grouping you'd like to view, like Alt and then F for file, you'll see the drop-down menu appear. From there, notice every sub-command on that menu also has an underlined letter as well. You can simply, at this point, press the letter on your keyboard. You don't have to hold down the Alt key any longer. You can release that. And whatever letter you strike, it will execute the corresponding command. So, for example, if I strike C, it'll do the close command, since the C is underlined. And if I wanted a new document, the keyboard shortcut would be Control plus N. For a new document. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.